a significant application of uh, smart chem regions is for rest machining. Now we didn't need to do that on the previous component, there was no rest machining toolpath required, so we'll show it on um, this component here. Uh, production milling, so we've extracted some profile boundaries and we've applied some roughing, roughing process toolpath through these pocket areas. Um, it's not rest machining, but we'll use the region process again to machine the difference between this cavity and this profile here. So on a layer again, regions, create a user region and the component boundaries here. Stop boundary is this cavity we've machined. If we make that active, back to our cutter, a roughing cutter, and apply region machining to that region. So that's machined the difference then between the cavity and the part boundary overlapping uh, with that cutter. Well, now we can use the rest machining process then. So if we go back to a layer, regions, rest mill region. We want two of them. Um, with rest milling basically you specify the roughing or the previous cutter followed by the finishing or the next cutter to do some machining. Uh, and we want two because there are different level, depth levels involved so um, we'll just hide away the existing process, existing region rather and we'll create a rest mill region from this profile boundary here and another one from this profile boundary here. If we go to plan view we can see some regions now that we can apply um, the cutter to. So we go back to our finishing cutter and then we can apply the region roughing process to that geometry. We just pick up the regions that we want to machine and then apply the region roughing process to them. So if we look at the end result of all that in show cut again. Um, I think we'll keep it fairly fast again. Uh, so as our pocketing process followed by our region machining process to cut the level the step and then our rest roughing process to take those corners out. So smart cam regions and smart cam region rest machining.